What's going on, Tamers? It's your boy, Varney. And today, we're bringing back a series that we wanted to do, but got lost by the wayside. And that's the top yellow staples you should have as a yellow player in the Digimon card game. Now, of course, before we jump in, let's reiterate what the definition of a staple is, according to us here at DGU. If you watched the original yellow staples video, you'll hear a lot of the same. And that's because this stuff doesn't change. When it comes to defining a staple in the various trading card games, some things are different based on the game you're playing. So with that in mind, here is the DGU definition of a staple. Number one, a card that is generically good in any deck, regardless of color, strategy, or playstyle. Number two, a card that can fill out a deck due to it being generically good, even if the deck in question is an archetype-based deck, such as Shine Greymon featuring BT13 Kudamon or BT11 Biomon, as well as the Solarmon and Pillamon floodgates, or Alphamon with Sunarizamon, even though there are enough X antibody rookies to play an entirely archetype-based rookie lineup. And number three, a card that any player should have, which is the most important thing. You're a new player? Well, then you should definitely pick this card up and consider having a playset of it. You're an existing player and you don't have this card? Well, what are you waiting for? Go pick it up. I know some may disagree, but this is what we decided and what we'll be moving forward with in mind. If you disagree, please drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts on what you believe or don't believe a staple is, because we appreciate any and all feedback. And for the last thing, these lists will only cover mono-colored cards due to how good and versatile many of the dual-colored cards that we have can be. So those will be covered in a separate video pertaining to their respective decks, colors, formats, etc. Format TBD. It's hard to fit all of this information in a decent length video, you know? Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so starting off here, we've got our Kiaramon from BT13. Now, the way that we're gonna talk about these cards is you always have to factor in shipping. Shipping is always a cost. You see here, there are nine copies available, so you can definitely grab a few of these and make out because you'll spend approximately uh, like $2 on a play set of these. But you'll notice that like if you only need to buy one, obviously you're gonna spend a dollar fifty. So it's generally in your best interest to either trade for this card locally, find somebody who will sell you this card as part of a bigger lot of cards from like Facebook or the Discord group or somewhere, or just bite the bullet and buy this card for dollar fifty, which I don't recommend at in the slightest bit. Um, that being said, Kiaraman, this is one of our three yellow eggs for staples because, well, what do yellow eggs do? They recover. But if they recover, they have a way to take security, right? That means they're trying to do something. You got, you know, the TKs, you know, the various TKs, you got the Patamons. So basically being able to give jamming to any stack, because it doesn't even have to give it to that Digimon that this egg is under. You can just give jamming to any Digimon for doing what your deck does, which is really good. And the price reflects it because you'll notice the other eggs are a little bit cheaper. We've got the BT14 Tokomon here, which is really good. It's the it's in my opinion the best yellow draw egg because again, if you're doing if you're doing recovery, I mean you, you can pretty much trigger it every turn without needing to attack. Like this Upamon. The only reason this Upamon is still here is because A, it sees play in Seccon, but it still sees play. And it's also only a penny. So if you can pick this card up by trading somebody, like you're not breaking the bank for this card. You should just have it anyways. But Tokomon is the premier draw egg, in my opinion. If you were trying to draw in yellow, you're going to use Tokomon because of what your deck is doing. And if you don't care about drawing, well, then you definitely want jamming. So you should be running this Kiaramon. Now, with all of that in mind, obviously, we talked about Patamon. It's seven dollars. The price is good. Y'all need to pick this up. It doesn't matter. It, if you're paying, you know, $40 for the playset, you're paying $20 for the playset. This is the backbone of every yellow deck, and you need to have four copies of this card. If you do not have four copies of this card, well, then you're not playing yellow. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to be straight honest with you. Um, I don't even like the idea that, oh, like I should be playing this card in some decks like my horse deck, but it's just so good. Like, why wouldn't you? This card letting you digivolve into any level four from security on top of giving you security knowledge on top of being able to rig your security with more stuff for a later card emissary of hope as well as being able to gain a memory when all of that is said and done is just insane and of course this triggers kiaramon like i said backbone of yellow decks pick four of these up like nobody's business next up we've got kudamon i love kudamon it is the best cert well it's the only searcher yellow has access to let's be honest but it when you're playing a vaccine deck, it's reveal top three. Uh, you add one vaccine and one tamer card. Well, one yellow tamer card among them to your hand. 
So we don't really have search in any yellow deck until EX6, which is for the angel deck. So if you're playing a yellow deck right now, obviously you're playing Padawan, which means you're playing a vaccine deck, which means you can play Kudamon because that is your vaccine searcher. Keep in mind that Padamon is a data type, so it is not searchable off Kudamon. That is neither here nor there. You don't care about that. All you care about is pulling into the rest of your line. So at 67 cents, a copy, I mean, you're pretty much going to be paying a dollar per because this, I mean, this card is worth it. I mean, this card is an uncommon, but it, it is totally worth picking up. If you can find some of these cheap copies, you should definitely have them. Expect to pay, you know, anywhere like about $5 for a playset. But if you have people you can trade for, remember, utilize your friends, utilize your resources, hit people up and see if they have these cards. So you don't have to pay these exorbitant shipping prices from TCG. Just pick these. These are the cards that everybody has sitting in their bulk, you know? Next up, we've got Salomon from BT15, and this is the replacement for EX1 Salomon. EX1 Salomon was great, uh, but if you were trying to play an auxiliary yellow rookie, I mean, of course, now you got the Patamon and you got the Kudamon, so now the question is, what else can I play? This one is a perfect slot in. Start of main, you can either add a card to hand if you have three or more, if you have two or less, you can rig your security with a yellow Digimon that has the vaccine trait at the top or bottom. So it's really cool for being able to facilitate your effects. The big thing about this Salomon is that it allows you to accelerate your game plan depending on what type of deck you're playing or shore up your game plan. For example, if you're playing a deck that's a little bit more aggro and you wanna be pulling cards so that you can get effects later on down your line, well then this card is gonna let you do that. Or if you're just trying to get that heal one, without having to necessarily do a lot. I mean, it is gonna heal you when you're at two or less, you know? So this is really good in that 10 cents, you know, again, hit your, hit your peeps up, get them, see what's in the bulk. Next up, we've got the BT2 Salomon, and this is a card that is just like, yeah, of course, you you play it in set con, and of course, it's the most list you see it in, but you can also still play this in almost any yellow deck if you feel like it. It's still gonna recover you if you're at three or less. And at two cents a copy, this is sitting in people's bulk. So this is a card that you can just hit your friends up again and be like, hey, I need more bulk, which is going to be the thing you hear me say a lot. Hit your friends up. Get that bulk. Next up, we've got Cutemon from BT5 Battle of Omnia. Of course, the price reflects on this one a little bit more because it's only a common, but it's from an older set. So this is a, in terms of common prices, you know, 20 cents. It's just a touch more expensive, but it's your floodgate against the training boost. So you should definitely have these because if you don't know what else to play, you play a cute mon and it's a vaccine. So that means it's searchable, which is insane. It's talking about vaccine floodgates. We have Pillowmon from X record, which is also a vaccine. And its effect is that players can't play Digimon by effects. About 10 to 15 cents for this card, depending on where you're getting it from. You should definitely have four copies of this card. You can probably pick up most of the cards on this list for under $1.50 if you're getting them from one seller and you're paying for shipping. Now, moving on to champions, we got the new best champion in yellow. And yes, I know Anjimon came out, but Anjimon costs three to Digivolve and Godomon does not. Godomon is insane because Godomon says when it's trashed from security by an effect, you play it. Just straight up. <laughs> you, you play it. And all turns when the card is removed from security, you gain, well, from your security stack, you gain a memory. You need to have four copies of Godomon. It has barrier. Honestly, I mean, I don't dislike barrier as a keyword. But it's good enough for what we for what we're doing in yellow right now. Just the fact that like you have the option of just getting barrier for what this has on the main body, for it being played when it's trashed, and for giving barrier to higher level Digimon, it's just really good. And honestly, like we've struggled for, for yellow champions. I mean, we've seen vaccine decks play a lot of different level fours because there just wasn't any good ones that were monocolored at least. And now we have a good monocolored yellow four. It's six dollars a copy. I guarantee that you'll definitely want to have some copies of this down the line. Pick up your playset. Pick up your playset. Next up, we've got Kazumon. We can't talk about staples and not talk about hybrid for game. So that's all this card is. This card is hybrid for game. It's not vaccine. We don't care. This card is hybrid for game. You don't need four copies of this. You probably only need two, but it doesn't hurt. It's 15 cents. Pick up a playset. <sighs> Now, this one I was a little bit on the fence on, but Dan said, oh, it's a yellow staple. So we went with it. It's a yellow staple and it was printed in Resurgence Booster, which is the big thing here because that means this card is now dirt cheap. I, you all remember when this card used to be like 15, 20, 25 bucks. Now this card is 20 cents for a Magna Andre Mon. This is a staple. Uh, you, you, There are definitely yellow decks that can still play this card. You wouldn't because you don't really want to hard drop it for seven, but come EX6. 
there is some stuff that you can do with this magnogem on in that angel deck for about two dollars pick up your playset. now we've got the new magnogem on the one that has replaced the old magnogem on not that you ever really played that one outside of second magna ace it's your first of all it's your ace so you gotta have it it's about five to six dollars depends on where you're getting the shipping from but five to six dollars that means you're about twenty dollars in for a play set this card is really good you're going to recover one if you're at six or fewer you get to neg based on how many security you have the important thing too is that you do neg regardless of if you recover or not if you happen to have seven or eight security you can just play this as a four cost removal spell that gives you a body on field it's really good it justifies the price pick up your play set of magna aces and of course we can't talk about magna ace without talking about andre woman ace so andre woman ace a little bit more expensive she is coming oh well actually no if y'all haven't picked one up yet as a matter of fact let me add this to my cart right now <laughs> y'all should be picking them up as you can see a lot of price fluctuations here this is not a market watch i'm just talking about what i've been seeing in the market this was eight dollars ish for the longest time but recently because the card is so good it's been hovering at about 15 to 20 dollars which is insane if you need a playset of this card try to get it lower than 15 if you can get for about 10 to 12 you're pretty good i, I try to get around 10 but you might be able to haggle somebody and get it around 12. card is good you trash and you trash the security you get to neg 6k and then when a card is removed, you got the Dynasmon effect. If you have three or fewer, you recover one. That's an all turns effect. So that's really good, especially being an ace card. Both this and Magna Ace, two different purposes, but you can play both in the same deck because they're just really freaking good. Why wouldn't you? So definitely pick up your copies of Andre Woman. Moving on, we've got Chidin Mon. Now, this is my personal favorite staple of the list because just as we struggled for good yellow well, monocolor level four as we struggle from good monocolor level fives for the longest time and now we have cheating mon the reason i love cheating mon forget about the when did you all you trash top card to unsuspend it, it there's a really nice combo that you can get going with this and a card that should be on this list that i'm going to add right now while i'm recording this video but basically you can take that first swing with repamon from ex5 you're going to get jamming if you're on the kiara mon egg then you can digivolve into Chitting Mon because you're in, you reduce the cost by two. So now you go into Chitting Mon for one, you unsuspend, you can take another jamming swing if, if you want, or you can leave it upright in case there's something you don't want to be swung into. But the reason this is actually on the list is because the when attacking is really good. If, you, if there are six or fewer security in both player stacks, you can place one yellow card from your hand on top of your security. That means you can put a security bomb right on top of your security. If you're playing a trashing deck, which is where this card really shines as well, so when you utilize the Andre Woman Ace, the Tamamon, Kentaurus Mon, Magna Dramon, any of those cards, you can rig Revelation, you can rig Odin's Breath, you can rig a Godomon and just get those effects for free. It's really good. And at this card being only six, six to 10 cents per copy, you should definitely have these. Now, of course I said it and I didn't include it and I don't know why I didn't include it. I love this card. I know not a lot of people play it if they play it at all, but this card is really good. And I believe this card has a lot of potential because when attacking, you trash top card of your security and then you reduce the next digi evolution cost by two. So this combos with that chaining mon we were just talking about. And then you have the inheritable, if there are six or fewer, you neg 2k. So if you don't know what else to fill out in the deck, this is really good. I mean, why why not? Especially if you're running Kiaromon, you're gonna get free jamming off of this card. I absolutely love that. There's a deck that I'm working on utilizing Kiaromon, Repamon, Chitting Mon. I'm just trying to make it efficient and make sure it works. Definitely pick these up. This is bulk. Hit up your friends. Now we're talking about trashing cards, right? So in my opinion, one of the yellow staples you should have for SR level six is, well, not even, it doesn't even have to be an SR, just for level sixes in general is Kentaurus Mon. The reason you should have Kentaurus Mon is because, well, first of all, he is dirt cheap. You can pick him up for anywhere between like a dollar to $2 per copy. You can probably get a playset for about $5. Now where he shines is obviously in that six or less total security threshold because you'll gain through memory, reveal a card and then recover it. So that makes him not be a five cost, but a two cost Digivolve. And then when attacking, you trash top card, you unsuspend him and you get to neg 7k on an opponent's Digimon. So with the chain of effects that we now have in yellow, you can actually do a lot of good shenanigans, neg seven, neg nine, neg 11, depending on what you're running for your Digivolution line. 
and also being able to rig your security with either an Odin's Breath or the Kari or the Garomon or just all of that. Really good and you should have it. I know not a lot of lists play it. This is this is a card that I always consider in playing my yellow decks depending on what type of deck I'm trying to play. Next up, we've got Seraphimon from BT14. He is a rare, which means he is dirt cheap, 15-ish cents. And it, I mean, it's just like, well, you want to play yellow vaccine? Well, then just play four Seraphimon. Like, don't even think about it. Just play four Seraphimon. Because when Digivolve and Recover 1, if you have that TK, that BT14 TK, you might be able to get into this in the same turn and keep turn. And then all turns, all turns, when a card is added to your security stack, you get to neg 7k one of your opponent's Digimon, and then you also gain sec plus one, which matters if it's your turn. But this combos really nicely with cards like the Magna Anjimon Ace, the Anjay Woman Ace. You can also obviously use it with Holy Wave, because if Holy Wave triggers insecurity and this is on field, then you're gonna get that effect. Just really, really good. The best Seraphimon that we've gotten yet. At 10 cents, you should definitely be picking these up. And then of course, we've got who I like to call. I'm sorry, but this is mommy herself. This is Venus Mon. And as you can see, I mean, yeah, she has went up. If you pick this card up at the beginning of the year, yeah, you you made out like a bandit, $6. And now she's up to 12. The price is justified. Venus Mon is our yellow queen. She is the yellow floodgate. She gives sec minus one globally to any Digimon that comes into play. Then any Digimon with that sec attack modifier cannot activate their when Digivolving or when attacking effects. This card absolutely shuts down certain decks. It buys you a turn. It's an automatic removal target, which in this deck, in this way, is good because <laughs> you put the onus on your opponent to remove it and they have to remove it and might give you value depending on how they remove it. Venus Mon at $12. I mean, yeah, she's definitely expensive. You're going to pay $50 for a playset. I wouldn't say that you need to pick this card up if you don't like the little bit more like stall control style of yellow. But if you do, then 50 bucks is more than worth it for this card. Try to see if you can get a deal on it and get it cheaper, maybe around, you know, eight bucks or so. Hit your friends up, see if they got them. But definitely pick up your Venus Mons. Next up, we've got the busted ass, <laughs> the, the absolutely cracked ass Emissary of Hope or Messenger of Hope. This card is insane. This card is Patamon on a card, but it lets you Digivolve into any level Digimon from your security. The next, it has to be the next level though. So like if you have a level four, you have to fulfill the Digivolution requirements. It has to be a level five. Of course, you can't Digivolve in the room mode because it specifies level six or lower, but that is good because you don't want to Digivolve. You, you, if you guys thought this card needed to be bad now, imagine if it Digivolved in the room mode for free. And then if you have a TK in play or a Tamer with the name TK in play, you recover one. So this card, you play it for one, Using all your rigging effects from earlier, whether it's off the Salomon or the Patamon, you can now Digivolve into those Digimon from your security and then recover one. So you get to filter out your security. Card is really good. The security effect lets you play a Patamon from hand or trash. And then you add this card to hand. It's five cents. Why didn't you? It's dirt. Why haven't you picked this card up yet? Next up, the new addition to this list, or one of the new additions, because we have we've had many so far. Revelation of Light. I didn't realize this card was as busted as it was until it was played in tournament. And I was like, oh. So why is this card good? Why is this card here? It's a four cost, you know, you search your security, you play a level of four lore, and then you you add it to your security stack if you have Karian name, a teamer with Karian name, right? Yeah, that's that's okay, right? Here's why it's absolutely insanely good. When an effect trashes this card from security, you activate its security effects. On top of that, all your opponent's Digimon and security Digimon get minus 5,000 DP until the end of your turn. The key word there is end of your turn. If this card is checked in security, end of your turn refers to you, the player who owns the card, which means it stays in effect for the opposing player's entire turn as well as your turn which is absolutely bonkers because now this makes removal targets a lot easier to hit. Got that 11K mega, but you negged 5K. Cool, Anjay Wumani is coming in to wipe it out. It, absolutely four copies of this. I'm not even, go hit up your friends, pick this card out of their bulk. This is just as, not busted, but this is just as good as Emissary of Hope and you need to have four copies of this card, no shot. 
we've got blinding ray here blinding ray is always just one it's one of those cards that it doesn't get played in a lot of yellow decks especially right now but it's always a good card to have because it's your sole memory gaining card every color has access to some sort of a memory gaining card and for yellow it's blinding ray you trash top card your security stack gain two memory you don't have to trash top card if you don't have any therefore if you have no security you just gain two memory for playing this card this card works a lot in the upcoming vaccine armor decks the magna x deck because it lets you trigger your recovery but it also works very nicely in decks that play the kiaromon to just give jamming because that is a thing that can most definitely happen so you should have four copies of this card it was printed in resurgence booster so nice time to pick it up for sure next up we've got one of our two consistency cards i was going to say three but reinforcing doesn't count one of our two consistency cards we got yellow memory boost this searches top four takes a yellow digimon so obviously you just want to have this card because it's 14 cents it was printed in resurgence booster so you're going to get them for dirt cheap now remember when these cards were just a little bit more like two three dollars you were paying per copy and now with resurgence booster they've made it a lot more affordable so have multiple copies of yellow memory boost i guarantee you'll use them and just like i said physical training looks at top two yellow cards and takes one which is also bonkers. And then it reduces your next Digi Evolution cost by two, which is good. Uh, this card's a little bit more expensive because, well, it's, you know, distributed as a box topper. You do get one of each color in BT14 box toppers, but, you know, the price is still up there. That being said, it's totally worth the price of admission, especially considering that it has went up and down and up and down and the price comparing to other training boosts. For three to four dollars, it's like this card is like slapped on or something because wisdoms have jumped up to like ten dollars. So for if you play a yellow deck, just have your play set. These cards are getting reprinted, but they're coming all the way in like August. So that's all like four months off or something. Uh, so you can just pick up like your play set or two of these right now and just have them just to have them. Next up. Yeah, like I said, reinforcing memory boost. This card is restricted to one. But you should still have it because you never know when this card might just be oh well, what card do i want to put in you know what i'll just put in reinforced memory boost because that card is just dumb there's a reason it's restricted you should also have a play set because i generally recommend picking up play sets of cards that are restricted you never know when they might come off the restriction list big thing about reinforcing is it recovers you one it draws you one and then you delay for three memory which is bonkers now we've got holy flame here printed in the resurgence booster so you can definitely make sure you pick up your copies of this card because they're extremely cheap a card that if you are like well i don't know what i might want to play or depending on the deck that i'm playing you can play a holy flame because you're gonna neg <laughs> sec minus three on an opponent's digimon and then give that global effect in security this card is really good with the likes of skiamon made mode of course venus mon is really great with this card and there's a lot of shenanigans that you can do with holy flame especially because it costs two now here we've got Lonky out of stock code. this is the revision pack version you don't need to pick this one up but i generally recommend picking up revision pack version but I generally rec but I generally recommend picking up revision pack versions of any cards just so that you have the right translation or whatever. The errata on this was making it not have the E here because it did not have the E in its actual name. It's literally just L-O-N long key, not long key or however you would pronounce that in there. Um, this card is bonkers removals if you have three or more security you're gonna neg 12k and if you have three or less security you're gonna place an opponent's digimon on top of their security stack if you are at three security you get both effects but because you get both effects do remember that if there is one target you're gonna neg 12k on that digimon it does not die to rules processing yet if it's at 12k or less you are then going to put that digimon face down on top of your opponent's security because that's what the card effect states you have to finish resolving all your effects before you dp checkpoint kicks in card is really good it's 50 cents for this revision pack copy 50 cents to a dollar so pick these cards up make sure you got them and of course if we talk about hard removal you ought to have wyverns which is just an egg 15k why not i mean it's bt6 it's definitely getting up there and being old because it's a rare so you can see the prices are reflected here 50 cents to a dollar um so pick these cards up because we don't know when reprints will come it's good to just have these sitting around anyways Next up, a card that was reprinted in the Resurgence Booster and was really good to, to be reprinted was TK Memory Setter from BT1. This card was like five-ish, six-ish dollars. I don't know how much it is currently. It doesn't matter because why pick that one up when you can pick up the Resurgence Booster copy for two to three dollars, depending on what you're getting with shipping and yada yada. This card, like I said, is your Memory Setter. 
you look at your security and then you add a card to hand if that card is yellow you recover one this is just the de facto yellow memory setter but we have a new one to add to the list which is kari from bt8 the reason she's here is because revelation does require a kari kamiya in name tamer so if you decide to play this instead of tk that is perfectly fine this was something that we had struggled putting on the list to begin with because we we're like she's really good but she only plays into certain strats now with the addition of revelation it's just like yeah this car has got to be on here she does have the secondary effect that when a card is added to your security stack you suspend her to gain a memory which you tend to be doing a lot in yellow decks anyways and at 15 cents a copy you're paying about a dollar 50 for this card you need a play set for about two dollars pick it up have a play set for sure Next up, we've got TK and Kari, which fulfills both the needs for Emissary of Hope and Revelation of Light, and is a crazy, crazy, crazy dual tamer. One of the early ones that still sees play. If you have fewer security than your opponent, you gain two memory. Chaining these and being at, you know, three security to your opponent's four just means at the start of turn, you go to six like it's nobody's business, or you gain six like it's nobody's business. Absolutely insane. And then when one of your yellow Digimon attacks, you suspend this tamer to neg 1k one of your opponent's Digimon. Really good for that aspect. You see the price of this card has definitely been going up. Again, another BT6 rare. So it's about a dollar going upwards to like $2. You should have these cards. We don't know when reprints are coming. Just pick it up and just have it. Last here, we've got the TK from BT14. This card is... <laughs> This card is going to return top card of security to your hand. You get to then rig your security with a vaccine trait yellow Digimon at the bottom so that you can facilitate, you know, your Patamon effects, your emissary effects. And then when a card is added to your security, you tap it, gain a memory. That's only your turn there. It'd be bonkers if it was all turn. We don't need another Kari Kamiya from BT4. Um, this card is just... Oh my good lord. If you're playing a vaccine deck you're most likely playing at least three of these because what this card does for the deck is really bonkers with Patamon and Emissary of Hope being able to just rig your security, digivolve the way that you want and just filter through it is just really good. And this card is like 20 cents. So you should most definitely have a place out of this. Now, I don't know how I did it. I have no clue how I got through all those cards in under like 30 minutes. So if I felt like I was moving a little bit fast, it's because I really was. I wanted to keep that video under 30 minutes. I didn't want it to go too much longer. There were a couple more cards I wanted to include, but we didn't because, well, we were just on the fence about including them as staples. We're going to have those as honorable mentions, which will be in the description down below. It's the Digimon card.dev list. I'm not going to go over them. You can look over the cards and decide for yourselves why they might or might not be honorable mentions that being said thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed please drop a like and a comment let us know what you thought about these staples what cards you will be picking up what cards you might not be picking up and then also when you're done with all of that just you know subscribe because we appreciate it anyways until we talk to you guys the next time peace out